Hello. Hi. Howdy. Welcome back to Nib Nab's Halloween Hype. It's been about a week and we are back and better than ever. This week we're doing something very, very exciting. As you can see, we are not in our usual setting of the kitchen. That might, uh, that might give you some hints. But first, before we do anything at all, I need to introduce you all to someone very important. Meet Edgar. That's right, Nimnab has a new team member. His name is Edgar. He is four years old and, and pretty sparkly for a raven. Edgar is going to be joining us in the rest of this Halloween hype series to to bring some Halloween spirit and some much needed raven experience. So everybody welcome Edgar to the team. Okay, so you may be asking Natalie and Edgar, what do I need? What, what are we doing today? What dazzling adventure are we going on? Well, that's that's a good question and I'm very glad that you asked because today we're doing a very essential piece of of fall and Halloween in general. We are doing crafts. That's right. We are venturing out of oh, <laughs> feather just came. We are venturing out of the world of cooking and into the adventurous world of DIY. So you may be thinking, hey, you can barely cook. How are you going to make things look pretty? That's a good question. I'm not skilled at life, but we're gonna try. So decorating your home is a very essential part of this season. So I think uh, having, this, having this decoration day will be a really good thing. Yeah. So let's tell you what we're gonna do. Edgar, could you please stand? Good Edgar. We are going to be taking some fake pumpkins and painting them in various ways. So get ready, because you'll need some stuff. You will need two fake pumpkins. I got one orange one and one white one. You can get whatever colors you want. Various colors of paint. Whoops. Including a certain color of glitter paint. Some newspaper or covering so you don't ruin your table. A paper plate that will serve as your, your artist's palette. And a paintbrush. Now, we will be doing two different crafts. That's right, not one, but two. That's special. For Edgar, <laughs> stop falling. First, we will be painting a pumpkin in a very original way. So grab some newspaper. Start to cover up the area you will be painting on with Rite Aid ads. $15 in bonus cash. Cover up this area so you don't get paint everywhere. Cause that wouldn't be a good fun part of Halloween. No, no, no. We're going to use this plate as a palette and drip protection. The word drip protection may have clued you in. We are going to be drip painting this pumpkin. So take the tag off of your totally real pumpkin and take the sticker off the bottom. The brand that I got comes with a sticker, so I'm fancy. Now you're ready to paint. So you can choose any colors that you want. You can choose as many colors as you want, as little colors as you want. I got some classic fall colors, such as red, and orange, and yellow, and brown. You're just gonna open up your paints. I got some acrylic paint. It's not high quality, but that doesn't matter. That's beside the point, people. We, here at Nibnab, we don't strive for quality. We strive for fun. So, once you've got your paints open, you want to shake them because paint gets watery. So just shake all of your paints so they mix well. So you're, this is supposed to be really easy. So we're going to start with some red, some classic red. And we're just going to take it and we're going to pour some near the stem of the pumpkin. 
So just, we're gonna start with the orange. Take it, and, ooh, that's very eager to spill. Oh no, okay. Take it and pour it near the stem of the pumpkin. Okay, now it should want to drip down the side. Mine isn't really dripping, so just pour some more on. Oh, there we go. That's some goop. Go for it. Just, you know, just go crazy. Yeah, just, just, yeah. So as, as it slowly but surely falls down the side of your fake pumpkin, think about the reason behind the season. There we go. Look, that's dripping nicely. Sort of. Take some more and do more. This is actually not going horribly. Beautiful. This is a true work of art. Now we're gonna open our yellow and go right either on top or to the side of, of the orange drip. That one's dripping nicer. So remember, this is all in, you are in full power of how this goes. You can just spin this pumpkin however you please to make it drip in different ways. So if you wanna go kinda crazy, you can just like spin your pumpkin crazy. It's all up to you. Isn't that right, Edgar? There we go. That's some cool pumpkins. Now we're gonna try with the brown. We're gonna pour this down the side next to the yellow. There we go. Just kinda, yeah, oh no! I just got orange paint on my finger. That's not a cool drip though. Drip in a better way, good sir. If it doesn't naturally drip well, just actually just pour paint on so it looks like it dripped. Like that. Let's just go bananas. Whoa, look, it's dripping. That's such a cool effect. It looks like Halloween. Cool. I might wanna try my red again. So we're back with some red paint that actually hopefully works this time. So we're gonna open up the red paint and, and pour it on here. Just like that. Be careful not to, oh, oh, it's dripping. That's what we want, but that's getting painted. Oh no. Okay, look at that, it's actually working. But whoa, it's dripping into, that's cool. So just kind of keep it going like this. We're gonna do some orange again. Why do I keep closing the orange paint? No. There we go. Be careful not to get this on your clothes because of course you're wearing your favorite fall flannel while you do this because it's fall and Halloween. Please open. Whoa, onto the yellow. We're gonna, oh no. There's a lot of drips, so be careful where you hold it. Just gonna pour some more on here. Whoa, it's dripping everywhere. Be sure to finish your pattern. Oh, that went on my hands. Oh my god, it's getting all over my hand. Um, um, um. Just kind of pour some more here. Boom. There's some. It is... My hand is just completely painted at this point. Throw some more, kind of wherever you want. Just make it an expression of who you are in this wonderful season that is fall. This kind of, once it dries, it gives you a marble effect, I've been told. So that would be a cool effect. Okay. So now, oof, my hand is full of paint. Hold it by the stem and <laughs> it's really dripping a lot. Um. We're gonna put it down on that plate. So yeah, here's my hand at the moment. I feel like this itself is a work of art. So we're going to close up all of these paints that you used for this one and put them to the side because now it's time for your next pumpkin. So we're going to take this pumpkin and put it over somewhere else. Bye, laddie. And get our new pumpkin. Whoa. Whoops, take the tag off of that one too. Now it's time for the true artistry. Here we have our black premium glitter paint and we're going to dump that onto our artist's palette. Boom! That more looks more like gray. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint a jack-o-lantern design on this on this pumpkin. Um, you can do any design you like or in any color, any color scheme, anything you want. It's really about who you are in the fall. 
Isn't that right, Edgar? Yes, it is. So we're going to take our paintbrush and take some of this, this, this paint, that's what it's called, and we're just gonna paint a jack-o'-lantern face. Now, when I hear jack-o'-lantern, I think classic triangle eyes, I think, you know, that little, little mouth with the teeth cut out, that's what I think when I hear jack-o'-lantern. This is not a triangle in any way, shape, or form. You may think of something else. Uh, that's totally fine. Really, like I said before, it's about who you are in the fall. I cannot paint at all. Oh my goodness. What is okay, so glitter paint is an odd texture. You might be crafting with a friend right now, and that is really admirable. You see, I have a lot of friends. Like Edgar, for example. Hey, Edgar. How do you feel about fall? Me too! You might- that's not the same triangle. Make sure to make your triangles equal. But sometimes being different is a good thing. You know, it's okay if your eyes are not the same shape or the same at all. It's totally okay. It just makes it more original. And- and hey, someone out there will admire this art. Won't they, Edgar? Now, if you're a good person, you would trace this, because this is a big, bold move. I'm not a good person. <gasps> That's really silly. So you could go with a really silly mouth, like this. I'm gonna change it a little bit. I don't know how to make this look like a jack-o'-lantern, because <laughs> it doesn't look very much like a jack-o'-lantern. Uh, at all. A really wide smile will make your jack-o'-lantern spooky. It's certainly looking silly! So, I hope you've enjoyed this pretty simple, pretty short instructional video on how to decorate pumpkins. Oh no. So, as you can see in the drying process, uh, this paint is starting to drip, which wasn't the goal on this pumpkin. I obviously used too much paint. So here's a tip. Maybe don't use glitter paint. Though it seems exciting and shiny, it may not work. But anyways, regardless, I hope you've enjoyed this, <laughs> this beauty. It's really something. And I'm glad that we could we could take the time to create something together. I hope you've enjoyed this truly uh, because I really have. I have enjoyed these pumpkins. And I think that you will enjoy these beautiful decorations in your home as well. Remember everybody, we're one week closer to Halloween, so the hype just better keep building. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for joining us. So thanks for joining us, it really means a lot. Don't forget to subscribe and share this channel, you know, it really, really helps, doesn't it, Edgar? I'll see you next week in which we do something, again, very exciting, very essential to the fall slash Halloween season. So I'll see you then. Bye! Goodbye. Bye! Farewell! <laughs>